Let's unbox this Samsung Smart Oven. Didn't know Smart Ovens were a thing, but there we are. I think this is the model number, if you're wanting to know what model it is. It's basically a micro wave with a built-in convection oven and grill function. Now, air fryers are basically small convection ovens, so it's like an air fryer and a microwave and a grill. So if we open it up, let's see what's inside. This is ideal for the situation I'm in at the moment where the microwave's broken and it needs replacing, but then also um, don't have any extra room in the kitchen to add an air fryer to the mix. This is a pretty decent sized glass plate there. I think it's 30 centimeters. Let's pull it out of the box. Uh, there we are. She's a heavy girl, over 20 kilos. Okay. Now, nice little digital display there. The door seems to be taped closed at the moment. And there seems to be a little bit more tape on the bottom here. It's very well protected. Oh, the door can open now. We've got a nice glossy finish. So that's the look from the outside. It's like a, a silvery grey and black. And inside we've got like an enamel blue, some instructions on the top, this and that's for your, your automatic settings and stuff like that. Have a look inside, it says 28 litres so it's massive compared to some others. Heating element at the top for the grill power. I've got some uh, a warranty card with, a, I imagine, some kind of product manual or quick start guide in that bag. Then we have some other accessories, which seems to include. The runner, the runner for the, uh, the microwaveable plate. And some trivets, a low trivet and a tall trivet. I'm guessing they'll be for baking and grilling. They have silicon feet on them, so they don't slide around, and that will withstand the temperature of the the oven. I think this one goes up to 200 degrees on the convection oven function, and I think I'm right in saying the grill function is 1100 watts, the microwave function is 900 watts. There's a UK plug, 240 volt model, nice chunky flex, one meter, with a uh, 13 amp fused sealed plug. There's a bit of a, a chunk on the back end which is probably a good thing because if you have this up against a, a back wall it's going to give itself enough 
room to breathe, so to speak. And that is all there is to say on this one.